Alright, so I am back home now, and if you saw, first of all, I'm checking out the rest of Apex 1-6 album. I'm gonna let you know right now, I kinda, the first like 20 seconds of All Right played for me, cause I like, I got so lost in the fact, first of all, I was doing stuff, then I got so lost, I'm like, wait, 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 this isn't I'm so sick, and then I had to go and like press back. Um, speaking of pressing back, I left my house today, and the old, the song I played, like I had the album on my phone, and I played I'm So Sick, but I didn't just play the song, like it was, it would just go to the next song. And since I was saving obviously the album to maybe check it out with you guys, I would get to All Right, and I just go back. And I never went into my pocket to change albums, change playlist. So I was out for like about two to three hours. I have like about an hour and a half to two hours of listening to I'm So Sick, and I am definitely not so sick of that song yet. I really like that song. And we're gonna start off with the lyric video for I'm So Sick because it gives me an excuse to listen to it again right now. So Alright, listen. This is like. So I have like a list of songs that. I, I'm gonna tell you at the end, bro. I'm gonna tell you at the end. And obviously you saw me react to the song already, so like, you can go forward to at least alright. Oh my god, like, grooving to this song is like, it's like, it's like R&B, but like a groovy R&B. Yo, I'm telling you right now, they started off the second half of 2018 amazingly. The part is so good. Was that? Hold on. Did she sing that lyric? I find it, cause okay, it's crazy. I got. I feel sorry again and again for the way I like. See, I don't know if that has anything to do, like, and also the fact that she got that line, um, with like, cause she was like, I know, I, I defended her on Twitter, and I thought, it, I guess, I mean, I guess it means something, cause people like, you should really like leave people the fuck alone, let them live their lives. Um, when like she got the surgery and people were still like attacking her, um about the surgery i don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that she got that line that being said just to like just because like that caught my attention that line caught my attention that's why like i started i started really focusing that like, wait did she actually say that line I, it, it got me like i got so mad when that was happening on twitter because she was literally getting attacked and attacked and attacked and like videos on the internet from like popular like those popular sites that just like spread news not not satire like news and whatever didn't really help it's it's just so so BS let's let people live their lives bro. she's beautiful anyway and I'm saying that and I don't even know if that's connected at all This song puts me in such a good mood right now. This song literally gave me life for the day. That 
guitar. <sighs> First time I do two videos for the same group in one day. I think it might be. When you put out a song this good, bro. Hello. See videos like this that I've seen before. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on to All Right. And uh, like, I'm never gonna get over how good that song is. I'm going to be listening to that song for the rest of this year. It's crazy because I talked about like how July is about to be a great month because there's so many crazy comebacks. Um, like based on like my taste, like the music that I listen to, like Mama Moose coming back, Twice is coming back, Seventeen is coming back, Card is coming back. Um, and I knew A Pink was coming back. I just knew him, and I was just waiting for the day. Um, but they weren't a part of like my list. I'm not gonna lie, they weren't like. I'm like, oh, I'm looking forward to this, 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 this. It was just, I know A Pink's coming back. I haven't checked him out in a in a long time, so I'm gonna just hop. I'm gonna just check this comeback out exactly when it happens, you know. Um, and they completely let me know, like, you better pay attention, pay attention. That's pretty much what they said. Like, we better be like on at the back of your mind, the front of your mind, whatever you want to call it, tip of your tongue. Next time you know we're coming back. So I didn't get really far into the song. It's just that it played a bit and I didn't pause. Okay, right here. Like I got to like right here and I went back. This is the latest I remember. Again, these lyric videos, I don't know how accurate they are, but they usually have like the general, the general translation, but it's just that they could be worded better. So far, these first two songs are definitely like there. This reminds me, y'all. I still haven't gotten around to the rest of newest album. And it's another one of those albums that their comeback caught me so off guard with how good it was. I definitely gotta go check that out as well. are like really pleasant who was that in the background
when I pick the lyric video, I just try to like go by the feedback, like with like like dislike and like at least some of the comments. And when I don't see a lot of negative comments, I just go with it. Um, of course, that's not always the best way, but I don't know Korean, so we're gonna go with some Dolby Select. text on like black paper or like a black background. Another song that's very different from from uh, five. Like all right is also different, but it's more poppy than uh, this song. And um, I'm so sick. Another thing, by the way, because people in the comments are telling me that uh, Chodong is uh, good friends with uh, Solar from Mamamoo, and Solar is my ultimate bias. Uh, Mamamoo is my old group. Um, I knew that. And also, guess what? I have a male ultimate bias and a female ultimate bias, and my male ultimate bias is Chang Sub, who is also good friends with Chodong. So it's like a match made in heaven. This was meant to be. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
This is like really R&B. guitar but it's like well, I want to hear them more like more R&B from a pink Put out a nice album, bro. With a bomb ass title track. Oh, this is hard to read, too. <laughs> It's just a nice song. Thank you. I almost accidentally opened a video for a song called Promise You. I'm cleaning my glasses because like the whole time it was hard to read, but my glasses were actually dirty as shit. <laughs> I never noticed, you know what, my camera quality ain't the best, so you probably can't tell. I promise me. Oh, it's gonna be like more of like a bandit. See? See, and it's not like songs. It's not like I don't like songs like this, right? Because I do, okay? Like cute, innocent songs. Like I listen to twice. I listen to twice. It's, 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 it's my kind of shit. Um, but this is kind of like more along the lines of what I thought the comeback title track was going to be like. I'm gonna do that little drum, that little. Yeah. I like that. I'm like moving the hell out of my table because even like when I'm not like, like my body, like you, you see me like still just staring, like I'm moving the hell out of my legs.
and again let me know because I'm pretty sure like some of these could definitely be worded better It caught me off guard. You saw my head. I was ready for it to go and it didn't go. saying like promise me miss me so it was like promise miss miss me so the last song is actually I like that kiss but I do not if I'm not mistaken I'll check again I do not think there is a lyric video for that song let me make sure nope there is no lyric video for that song so I'm just gonna play it from my phone because I have it on my phone wait wait that's not, that felt like such an awkward start Songs. There's just definitely like a few that I would play more than others, like more often. This is definitely one. Oh my god! That is so good.
a pink did the damn thing okay like I said there's definitely songs on the album I play more off they're all good songs but there's definitely some songs that I definitely play more often than others I respect it and I'm actually glad that I at least now have like seven songs that I can listen to of a pink um, until I come back and check out more of the music later on but if you haven't noticed and if you don't know what Lost in the Sauce is, if you don't watch my channel often, you don't know what Lost in the Sauce is, Lost in the Sauce is something I do literally for situations like this one with A-Pink. A group that I maybe checked out once, or have only checked out like a hand, like one, two to three songs of before, and I literally make a video called Lost in the Blank Sauce. In this case, I have like IU, EXO, and uh, A-Pink. So what I do is like, I haven't checked them out in a while, I'll be like, bam, I'll check out three or more videos in one video. For those artists like I got in the mood like I got it lost in the a pink sauce there there's no promises on when lost in the sauces will happen it's just that I have them there and if one day I ever just look at the screen I'm like what video do I do today I usually just go with one of the lost in the sauces on my board so listen they put out an entire banger like I said in the beginning I usually have like I have like a list of these songs that I try to make it an unbiased list because I have like a core four of groups my old group Mama Moo, then B2B Monster X and Icon and it's like it's so hard because then there's also like groups like like there's these like the girl groups that I love right and it's so hard to make an unbiased list but I had like this unbiased list in mind like where I wouldn't like include any songs from like those groups that I know it's be hard for me to be impartial about and I had like Pentagon Shine in there a lot of songs and this song is right up there it's it's in, it's, it's this song is insanely good and this song is liable to be like in just like a top like any top 10 list for me for this year my favorite songs this year even if it is like including my bias groups this song is liable to be right there right alongside shine and like every mama move to be icon and monster x release ever that's how much i really like this song i feel that same way about like uh who waits for love from shiny as well a group i really really like and i really like recently i've been getting into a lot and it's a B-side song, but they honestly don't feel they're one of those groups that they don't put out B-sides. Uh, there's they're all there's like there's 15 title tracks in the story of life. But this song, A Pink, yeah, respect it.